special member request, we have Drab Majesty, a dialogue. All right, and this is going to be in a special tuning here, a drop D tuning. Um, basically, there's an E flat uh, bass note that happens here that we need to grab. And um, the easiest way to do that is just to take the low E and just drop it to a D. So basically, we just do a whole step drop here from the low E. Right, and just drop that down. Okay, so now basically we have a D, A, D, G, B, E. All right, we're just taking that one low string, dropping it down to a D, and essentially that'll give us uh, like an open power chord. All right, and uh, he essentially uses this tuning anyway, and he also does like a capo action at the first fret. Um, I'm just going to try to keep this as accessible as I can by, you know, not messing around with the capo. Um, I think he also does some additional tuning things, so that might complicate, but uh, at least we do need this uh, low E flat note. And the easiest way to do that is this drop D tuning, and everything else stays the same. So uh, with this, you can you can try just doing kind of like the basic easy chords if you want to and for that you know since we're in this drop d tuning now we can just grab it all on one fret so it's super easy so uh, the chord progression it starts here at a b flat five which is you know the technical name for the power chord so uh, basically we'd just be here at the eighth fret all right and that's eight on the the low d now that six low string and then we do the eight on the A string and the eight on the middle D string. And it's just kind of a strum for a measure. And then we bump it up to the 11th fret. All right, that same shape configuration on those three low strings, just the one fret. Bump it up to the 11th fret, all right, for that D flat power chord. In this measure, we kind of split. We'll hit that for a couple beats or about a beat and then we drop it down to the sixth fret. All right, we're all keeping the same exact one fret shape here. So we're at the sixth fret now at the A flat. All right, and the first time through, we'll end it at an F power chord. So for that, in this drop D tuning, we just go down to the third fret. Okay, for the F power chord. All right, and then for the second time through, you know, basically this whole progression just kind of alternates. Uh, the second time through, we do the first three chords just as usual, you know, that eighth fret, B flat power chord, to the 11 to six, the D flat to A flat. But here's where we, you know, really need this, uh, this drop D because the, the chord we finish with the second time through is that E flat I was talking about. And for that, uh, we'll have to go down here to the first fret. All right, this is this would have been inaccessible to us in that in a standard E tuning. So, uh, with the D flat or the D drop D, we get that here. So E flat here at the first fret, and it's just a and <laughs> the funny thing is it's just a couple beats with that chord. All right, and then we just cycle through. So you know. Okay, that's first time through, second time through. just cycle that from there. All right, and for, you know, kind of the more advanced challenge here, and this is, you know, a, kind of a tricky arpeggiation action here, especially in this, you know, just a, a drop D tuning here. Like I said, he, he does some uh, additional tuning stuff, and he capos the first fret, so he's, he, you know, he's probably taking advantage of some more open style strings happening, because the capo is helping him out at the first fret. But if we don't want to mess with that, uh, we'll, we'll just do this here by, you know, barring a lot of stuff. And, you know, we're going to start with that same uh, bass note, that 8th fret on the low D. All right. All right, and then we're going to pick through this shape here where we're, we're going to bar basically the 8s like we would with that chord. But we'll hit the 8 on the low D, 
skip the A, go 8 on the middle D, and then we keep picking. We do 10 on the G, 9 on the B, and then we'll lift that 10 off from the G and hit an 8 because we'll have it all barred right there behind it. So. Right, and then we finish that by coming over on the middle uh, D string here, and we go 10 to 11. All right, and then the next shape we want is down here. Uh, we're not gonna you know, zoom up to the 11 like we did. Uh, we need some more notes here, so to make that work easily, uh, we'll drop down and get it on the second string here, the A string, all right? And we'll hit the fourth fret on the A, and then six on the middle D, five on the G, six on the G. All right, and from there, coming up over here at the six on the low D, all right, skip down to the six on the middle D, all right, hit the five on the G, all right, and we're doing, I find it's best to use, you know, middle finger on the six of the low D, ring finger on the six of the middle D, and then we'll have the pointer finger at the five of the G. All right, have the pinky, we'll hit the six on the B, come off to the index pointer finger, which is moved to the four on the B. And then we just move down to this, where we'll have the pointer finger on the uh, three of the low D. All right, and we're gonna bar to the three on the middle D. All right, have the ring finger at the five of the G. Come back up to the three of the low D, to the five on the middle G again, three of the low D. Hit that three on the middle D that's being barred. All right, and then uh, the middle finger will hit the four on the B. Okay, so slowly. Okay, and we hold that for just a moment, and then we pick through that three low D, five G, three low D real quick. And the first time through, we're gonna end at our uh, sixth fret on the low D, all right? And with this, I kinda get that same shape we had there before where we go uh, middle finger on the sixth low D, ring finger on the sixth of the middle D, and then have the index do the five on the G, and then the pinky do the six on the G. All right, and that's how we get through that first round. All right, and the second time through, we do everything the same way, but that very last little bit, that six low D, six middle D, five G, six G, we switch that, of course, because we're at our you know alternating bass note at that E flat of the one on the low D. All right, so we'd be coming off of our you know three low D, three middle D, five G, bouncing around there, hit that four on the B. And then quickly the, the three low D, five G, three low D. All right, and then from there, instead of coming up to that six, we go down to that first fret on the low D, hit that with the pointer finger, then three with the ring finger on the middle D. All right, and essentially we're barring the first fret and hit that one on the B, barred with the pointer finger and then second fret on the B with the middle finger. Okay, and that's just kind of like the every other time we do it.